The Wall Cellular Imaging Center is a small research facility that specifically offers advanced and cutting-edge light microscopy equipment and support for the neuroscience and biomedical communities on the Denmark Hill campus of King's College London. The center is set up as a core facility and as such it is open to all students and members and staff at King's. The Wall Cellular Imaging Center is unique in that we have a large range of state-of-the-art light microscopes that cover all sorts of imaging modalities that specifically lend themselves to the studying of neuroscience. The center is run on a daily basis by our manager, Dr. George Chanel. His job is to oversee the running of the facility, but as well as to provide training and support to all users. Light microscopy is normally able to resolve objects limited by how light diffracts through a lens, a principle defined by Ernst Abbe over a century ago. In fluorescence microscopy, this is typically a limit defined by wavelength and lens quality, and you can typically see objects around 200 nanometers or larger. In the context of neuronal plasticity, being able to go past the diffraction limit is really useful, as there are many features of neurons that may change which are smaller than the usual size a microscope can resolve. Features such as dendritic spines, boutons and synapses are easily resolved with super-resolution microscopes. The centre itself is made up of two major parts. The first part is a suite of state-of-the-art microscopes which include a high-content imaging platform from Perkin Elmer as well as two light sheet microscopes from M-squared lasers. In addition, we also house a Nikon Centre of Excellence in Advanced Neuroscience Imaging. This is a very exciting partnership that we have with Nikon, as this is the only Nikon Centre of Excellence in the UK. This premise of this centre is to establish a resource for scientists with a common area of research, such as neuroscience, where researchers have access to the latest optical systems and the training to back it up to advance their research. One super-resolution technique available here at the Wall Cellular Imaging Centre is iSIM, which is part of the Nikon Centre of Excellence in Advanced Neuroscience Imaging. This system gives unparalleled speed at resolutions as small as 120 nanometers. Here we can see the four-dimensional rendering of some live neuronal cells and the motion of their spines over time. The speed that is now available has opened up super-resolved calcium imaging as well as other sensor-based readouts. Its other key advantage is the ability to image at greater depths than other super-resolution techniques, and this means that imaging in a piece of tissue is really easy. Currently, we have 10 instruments within the Wall Cellular Imaging Centre. This allows us to image large or whole organisms as well as large pieces of tissue. So, for example, model organisms such as Drosophila or large sections of mouse brain. And we also have microscopes that allow us to image all the way down to single cells, such as neurons or stem cells. Our systems allow researchers to examine fixed samples, so samples that are preserved at a specific time point, and allow us to examine in great detail the structure and development of the brain or individual neural cells. Here you can see the dendritic spines in a piece of brain tissue. Placing neurons in context is also really important and this is made possible by visualising them in respect to their location in the brain. To achieve this, we have our airy beam light sheet microscopes, the Aurora system from M-squared lasers. These utilise a self-interfering beam of light which propagates as a tightly focused beam into tissue. In addition, all of our systems are capable of imaging live specimens. This is essential if we are to understand the dynamic nature of neural circuits and the cells within them. This includes being able to see how cells respond to different stimuli, to being able to look at calcium responses in neurons, or at the trafficking of proteins within these cells. The use of light sheet based microscopes protects the sample also, as only the plane of focus is illuminated. The ability to achieve sub-micron resolution at depths of up to a millimetre or two means that as researchers we can image most of a piece of tissue in a short piece of time and collect vital information about where neurons project and connect to without greatly altering the tissue architecture itself. In order to do this type of work, researchers use a wide range of dyes or fluorescently labelled markers such as fluorescent proteins that have been tagged to specific proteins or antibodies against specific proteins that are subsequently identified by fluorescently labelled secondary antibodies. Thus, in combination with the different types of imaging and modalities that we have, imaging of fixed cells or imaging of live cells, 
These tools allow us to gain a comprehensive picture of the intricate architecture within neural cells, as well as an insight into the dynamic properties and behavior of these cells or the proteins within them. Two systems I am particularly excited about are the light sheet microscope from M squared laser and the iSIM super resolution microscope from Nikon. These systems do very different things. The light sheet system allows you to image large pieces of tissue, whereas the iSIM allows you to produce high resolution or super resolution images. The microscopes in the center are not used just to gain an insight into how the healthy brain function, but allows us to get a better picture of what may be going wrong in a diseased state.